There's not much to the history of Pumpkin Spice, but we're going to get into it anyways. So starting off with the name Pumpkin Spice, it's short for Pumpkin Pie Spice, but over the years it's been shortened to just Pumpkin Spice. So Pumpkin Spice is a spice that's added to pumpkin, any kind of recipe that requires some pumpkin. So Pumpkin Spice itself doesn't have any pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Spice is a mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and allspice. Now the very early origin of this spice mix comes from 1796 with a spice mix that was called Pumpkin and it was in a recipe from the cookbook American Cookery. And then a hundred years later in 1896, going from the name just Pumpkin to Pumpkin Pie Spice, it was mentioned in the original Boston Cooking School cookbook. And then in 1936, as opposed to it just being used for pumpkin pie, is being used for a lot more than just pumpkin pie, as the Washington Post printed a recipe for pumpkin spice cakes. So now we're in the 1950s, and the spice company McCormick, they had a grand idea to take all five ingredients that make pumpkin pie spice, put it all together in one can, and sell it as pumpkin pie spice, then in the 1960s, McCormick shortened the spice blend from pumpkin pie spice to just pumpkin spice. And there you go. Pumpkin spice, the term, was born. So from the 1960s to the 1990s, as pumpkin spice was widely available and convenient and easily to buy from McCormick, it was used in all kinds of food recipes besides just pumpkin pie. And by the late 1990s, small cafes and coffee shops all over the United States started catching on with this idea of selling pumpkin spice coffee. And it was just a, a little thing, you know, uh, it was like one of those things where, oh, you just got to try this flavor. Oh, go to this cafe. They have it. You got to try it. It's a must drink flavor. And so as we closed one millennium with pumpkin spice flavored coffee, we go into the new millennium and enter Starbucks. Starbucks changed the way people think about pumpkin spice as they debuted their pumpkin spice latte, or some people like to call it PSL for short, or just to sound cool. The Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, it's kind of become a joke online as it's really highly popular drink. So you see everyone craving it, people are talking about it, drinking it, and it's only available during the fall and winter seasons. So it's almost like everybody's waiting, they're fiending for it, they need that pumpkin spice latte. They missed it, and it always comes back, just like the seasons. So the tired, dead jokes that you see online, it's always like anybody that is a basic person enjoys a pumpkin spice latte. I myself, I do take part in making fun of the pumpkin spice latte. That's just my nature. But me personally, I really do enjoy a pumpkin spice latte. The pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, it consists first with the spices. We've got a mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove, and also a little bit of pumpkin puree. We've got espresso and steamed milk, along with sugar, then topped off with whipped cream, and on top of the whipped cream, we have, of course, some pumpkin pie spice sprinkled on top. So as I go over these ingredients of the pumpkin spice latte, or the PSL, there's one ingredient that wasn't included in the first incarnation of the pumpkin spice latte, and it was actually the pumpkin puree. What? No pumpkin in a pumpkin spice latte? That's crazy talk. So let's go back now and see where the pumpkin spice latte for Starbucks all started. So in January 2003, Starbucks started developing the pumpkin spice latte along with 10 other flavors. And this was brought on after a line of seasonal drinks were a success in the holiday season of 2002. These drinks, if you're just curious, were the eggnog latte and the peppermint mocha. 
These 10 new seasonal flavors were tested by consumers, and the pumpkin spice latte fell kind of in the middle. It wasn't really that popular with most, as most people chose caramel and chocolate flavors over the pumpkin, but despite all that, Starbucks still wanted to include this pumpkin pie spice flavor. They just knew it was special, and they didn't see it anywhere else besides the little coffee shops here and there. So the developers then tried different things to figure out the right ratio of pumpkin to spice, and they wound up not including any pumpkin in the recipe at all. So in the fall of 2003, Starbucks test marketed the pumpkin spice latte in Vancouver and Washington, D.C., and it became such a huge hit to the point that it was hard keeping the store stocked with the ingredients to make it. So Starbucks knew they had a hit on their hands, and by the fall of 2004, the pumpkin spice latte was nationwide in every Starbucks location. The pumpkin spice latte basically became a phenomenon, as from 2008 to 2012, pumpkin spice styled foods and products were out and up by 234%. All these different kinds of pumpkin spice flavors, from candy to donuts, to even whiskey. So with all great stories, legendary stories, stories of legends, there's always got to be a little dip in everything. So that dip for the PSL came in 2014 as controversy hit the drink, articles going out like, you'll never guess what's in your pumpkin spice latte. It was pointed out that the caramel coloring in the pumpkin spice latte was a possible carcinogen, even though the FDA considered the coloring safe to consume. Another article pointed out that there was no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice latte, which I feel is kind of dumb because it's pumpkin spice. The spices you put into a pumpkin pie. Not pumpkin itself, but whatever. Also, other articles noted that there was a lot of sugar in the pumpkin spice latte. So the next year, in 2015, Starbucks, to calm everybody down, to calm down the controversy, they reformulated the recipe for the pumpkin spice latte. They took out the artificial flavors, and they also put in some real, actual pumpkin puree to calm everybody down so whenever they look at the ingredients of the pumpkin spice latte, they actually see that there is pumpkin in it, and all was well in the land of pumpkin spice lattes. Today, Starbucks has made well over a billion dollars in sales from the pumpkin spice latte. And so, with the pumpkin spice latte being the reason so many other pumpkin spice things are being made and created even to this day, I believe everyone should at least experience the legit pumpkin spice latte at least once just to see what all the craziness is about. And so with that, that is your history of Pumpkin Spice.